Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to try three new products and uh, see how they work and give you my own thoughts about them. The first thing I want to talk about is this Makeup Revolution Precision Contour over brushes. I really really wanted to try these and I had to order and I saw everybody <laughs> using these brushes everybody except me so I said to myself I need to have that in my collection now I didn't bought or hold the collection because I really wanted to try these brushes um, have mixed feelings about them I don't know the beautiful but I don't know if they will work I, I know I saw many youtubers uh, loving th these kind of brushes but I ordered these from uh, Braillist at SC I think and it's this Revolution makeup set. Let's open them and see how they feel. Now there is three of them. This one it says it's supposed to, it's perfect for blending out contour, bronzer, blush or finishing powder. But I will try to use this for foundation. And uh, this one is perfect for sculpturing the cheekbones. This one I will use for my contour. And this one is uh, quick, smooth and perfect application for highlighters or small areas of your face and also can be used for concealer. So this one I will use for concealer and maybe contouring my nose and uh, yeah, we'll see. I love the color, this is like a rose gold color. These brushes, brushes. and I feel really soft. I know, I think I saw other people using the bigger version of these brushes, but I really wanted to give it a try before I order more. God, this feels soft. <laughs> I understand why everybody loves them. So these are our pro uh, things that we are going to use today. And of course, something that I read on internet, now I don't remember on what which website I read about this product but I was so so interested of you trying this so I had to order it it's a hilamide or hilamide I don't know how you pronounce this one it's photo ready foundation now this is a foundation that will be perfect for taking pictures uh, it says that uh, can be applied under or over or mixed with foundation or used alone for natural look it offers instant vis uh, visible anti-imperfection benefits, tone corrections, as well as reduced pores, size, appearance. It's fragrance free, which is, I think, important for me. Uh, I did open it and try it on my um, hand just to see, to see how it feels. It's a kind of funny packaging when you open it, it, like, it comes like this. And then you have some uh, a little bit of instruct instructions, and it says uh, it's with uh, corrections so you can look better in photos, and it's transparent. So I don't know. It looks like this. Now the other product that I want to, or the third product that I want to use, is uh, neutralizing purple. This is a product from makeup store and it helps to create the perfect match for your skin tone. Blend the natural neutralizer with your regular liquid foundation to create the perfect tone of your base or apply the neutralizer prior to your foundation. It helps to neutralize green tones in your face. Now this, they said to me in the store that this is also something that lights make your foundation look a shade or two lighter. And to try this one, I needed a darker foundation than my skin. I know I said that this is in one of my videos that I do like and prefer my foundation a little bit darker than my face just because if I have exactly the color as my skin, I really look pale, I look sick. And <laughs> I don't like that feeling. And then I try to take it down to my neck and blend everything perfectly so it looks natural. So to try this I said before that I bought this Milani, Milani Con Conceal and per Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and I bought three colors 
uh, this number three light beige is the color that is perfect I think for me and then I bought two darker color now I bought uh, light tan and light medium 04 and 8 now it's a kind of big difference between these two it's just be I bought them this one because I know sometimes I'm tan so but this one I bought also to see when I use this product how light can I make a foundation let's try and mix this see how it works before we try that before we try that I really want to apply this on my face because it says that you can wear this alone and it makes your skin more uh, natural looking and even so let's try this I'll take a little bit of this product on my hand and it looks kind of a little bit shiny but can, and will of course use this this brush soft and so nice to my skin I look shiny <laughs> I don't think I would wear this alone but under my foundation why not I really can't see so much difference I don't know if you can see please tell me if you see any difference with this product I like how this brush feels I think it doesn't look bad now when you wait a little bit, it does, it did took a little bit of redness on my face. What do you think guys? I think it looks okay. I don't, I don't like to go out without any, without foundation or BBC cream or, or CC cream. Just anything that will just cover a little bit. When I don't, I don't always have full makeup. Sometimes I just take a little bit of foundation and mascara a little bit of uh, blush and that's everything I just want when I want to look natural I don't really want to take go outside without mascara or any foundation because I feel naked I don't feel comfortable it feels wrong and I always go around I think everybody's looking at me and it, it, I don't like that feeling so that's why after having this product a couple of minutes on my face I do like it. I really do like it. It feels soft, doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face and it does correct a lot of rednesses and some of the pores. But I'm not really sure if I would wear this alone. Maybe under the CC cream or BB cream, doesn't matter which one of those. It does look a little bit shiny, like I have gold sparkles on my face when I look closer in my mirror. So, I don't think I will use it alone, but definitely under my makeup, because I think it looks great. Now, let's try to mix my this foundation with the other product from Makeup Store, this neutralizer, and it's called purple, this one. I know they have different colors. Let's put a little bit of number three here. I will blend that a little bit to show you this is the color that I, it, I think it's perfect for me now let's take number four and it's this a little bit darker and this is number eight even more darker now I will take this product and put a little bit wait in this too it's really and try to blend that see if it works So 
what do you think? It did make it a little bit lighter. I think this one now looks better than the number three. Let's just, which one is which one? Blend this one more. So I do think it made my foundation a little bit lighter. Let's a little bit more here on this darker one. Does make foundation lighter, can you see? Let's just see how it looked before. This is number three that I use. This is number, wait. This is number four and this is when with the product neutralizer light it got and this is number eight look how dark it is and this is with the neutralizer now I definitely like the product and uh, what I would do is I will take this darker color the darkest that I have number eight and mix that and put that on my face just to try it this is number eight This is number eight. Now I will take this product. Now this one looks okay. Now let's take this brush and uh, in my mirror start applying this. This is perfect color. Now I'm happy. I can buy any foundation. Now this is good with the products. Often when I want to try a foundation, it is and it doesn't exist in Sweden, I'm so afraid of ordering too dark foundation. So I was really looking for a product like this, light up uh, my foundation. So if I buy any foundation that it's a little bit darker, I can just make it blend with this product and make it perfect for my skin color. I'm in love in this brush. I have to tell you that I really love it, this brush. I look nice. It looks good. A little bit shiny, but it doesn't look oily. Or I think it doesn't not. It doesn't look oily but it has a nice shine to it and I will definitely put all information about these products down below so you can check it out uh, I like it now I don't have to be afraid of buying a foundation to try this is great sometimes even if there is foundation that you can buy in Sweden I don't always find time to go uh, out to the stores and shop because I have two small children I work full time I am so happy right now if I take this number eight, just a little bit of it on my finger and apply it here. Can you see how darker it is, number eight, without the product? You can see it from here. Take a little bit off and just... Now I will try the other brush, this smaller brush, not the smallest but smaller, and apply my concealer with it. What to think about. Can you see it feels like I'm moving a lot of the concealer around my face. I don't really think that I like it so much to do my concealer. It looks really really nice. The only thing that I don't like it that moves my concealer too much but it blended it very very well. 
Now I don't want to try to contour my face with this brush, but I want to use this powder uh, contour kit because I use this almost every day. So if I'm going to have some use of this brush, I have to take a product that I know uh, need in my life. brush for contouring my nose really really nice it's too small so I will try the other one that I con did my um, concealer with I like this brush for contouring my face and I do like the smallest one for contouring my nose because I th think it did a really really good job. So we'll use this and try to set my makeup or now I that here and not as good as the beauty blender to just set this powder under my eye but almost almost as good as this beauty blender really really great let's try to do this highlight liquid highlighter that I have from NYX born to glow and it's a sunbeam Try to highlight. Can you see? It was great. First, I felt like it's too much product, but then then I start blending this. Now, this is first time in a long time that I like. All products that I bought at once or tried at once. Uh, I love these brushes, really 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 impressed, really impressed. I will definitely buy the bigger one, uh, I don't know if there, it does like loses a little bit of the hair if you can see, but that does not bother me, not now, we'll see. If it continues and gets all over my face then we'll, we'll have a discussion. I like this product, Transparent Foundation, from a name I can't pronounce, Helamide, Hylamide. I really really like this one, uh, it did make my face look shiny, so I, I won't use it by itself, I will definitely use it under my makeup because I look flawless and oh my god, so nice products. Uh, this one also comes in different colors, but I know the girl in the store told me that only this neutralizer purple does light up foundation. So, so please let me know what you think down below. Give a, a thumbs up to this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!